Hey guys, it's May May and welcome to a swag video. This is a cheater swag and this video is in cooperation with Decorators Warehouse. They sent me the beautiful supplies to make this swag for you today and even better, they have made a kit that you can purchase to make the same thing I'm making today. And that link will be in the description of this video. It'll take you right to the kit, along with some photos to help you put yours together. But you can always follow along with me on the video. So I'm breaking in here to tell you some really exciting news. That since we have been at Decorators, they now also sell products online. That's right. You can now order from their website online. I will put the link in the description below. So not only can you get the kit, you can also buy other products. So please go check them out on the video. So thanks to Decorators for doing this. You guys know I love them and we want to be there, but this year is not working for us yet. The year's not over and Christmas isn't here yet. So we're not going to say we're not going to make it. So my swag came a little bit squished. And so I had to do some fluffing and I want to show you what I do. Okay. This is the front of the swag, but when you fluff it, I want you to turn it over and work from the back first, and here's why. When you get it, they're gonna be kind of intertwined. Go ahead and decide which pieces go to which side and establish the back so you have a nice flat surface and then flip it over, and then you just want to stand these guys up. Just go through and kind of stand everybody to attention. It's not hard. This one pretty much fluffs itself. It's easy to do, okay? Get used to camera here, okay. Now, this is what we call a cheater swag. Now, I've done this at Decorators before. I love the style of swag, and here's what I mean. I want this to look really full, right? So not only do you have this evergreen swag, but you also have this gorgeous pine needle with pine cone swag, and we're gonna marry these two together. Here's what I mean. I'm gonna take this bottom swag and lay the top one like so, and then coming inside of here, everything's wired, which makes life so easy. Coming inside of here, I'm gonna grab some of the bottom swag and I'm just gonna twist it together to hold that on. And I'm gonna do that all the way down, just marrying these two together. This is so easy, but it will give you this full fluffy look. It'll give you a really expensive look without having to buy enough swags to do this with or enough picks to put in. And also, notice I didn't use any hot glue. I'm gonna try to do this one without hot glue. Y'all know how I feel about that. I like to make them so that I can buy these nice green pieces. And if I wanna change my decor, I don't have to pull anything out or cut anything off. I can just unravel it and use it again. Look how gorgeous. I mean, that was nothing. I connected it in three places. One, two, three, and it's not going anywhere. These wired pieces are gonna hold it. Now, you might wanna run through and pull some of the back out if you need to do that. I think it looks fine like it is, but you can always pull more through if you want. All right, now probably the hardest part, which is not hard, let's make a bow. So I've laid my swag on my table with the thinnest part away from me. This is the widest part of my swag. And today we're using a gorgeous Buffalo check ribbon in four inch width. I love this ribbon. I wanna wear it like a scarf, it's incredible. So here's what I'm gonna do. I want my bow to be the width of the top of my swag. Now you might not want a bow that large. That's just what I'm thinking would look good. So what I'm gonna do is starting with the end or the, the raw edge of my ribbon, I'm gonna make a loop, just kind of a tester loop, just to get us started, something like that, okay? And then I'm gonna put it to the what I call the middle and see how that width is. This one will kind of trick the eye. I need to move it out of the way because it's not really part of the top of the swag. This is more the top of the swag. So I'm gonna lay that there and I kind of like that. I think that's enough. So let me test the other side by making a loop about the same size. And when I say about, I mean about, I'm not measuring. You can measure, I'm not measuring. I'm using the wreath to tell me what it needs or the swag. I think that's plenty big enough. I think it's actually very pretty. So I'm gonna continue. Okay, here's the trick. I've made these two loops and I'm holding together here. This ribbon is single-sided ribbon. What that means is it has a right side and it has a wrong side. So when I go to make my next loop, if I don't twist this, I will get two different sides next to each other. By the way, they're both gorgeous, so pick a side you want. So to make this work, where they meet, I'm gonna twist that ribbon in my hand. So I twisted it in the center and now I get the right side up. So now I'm just gonna make myself another loop, the size of that last one, Pretty much the size. See, I'm taking my fingers and kind of doing that to check them. That's good. Now, when I come back to the middle, I got to twist it again, because if I don't, I'm going to get the wrong side. So I'm going to twist it, bring it down, make my loop, 
before I twist it in my hand, I'm gonna do a little test here, make sure these are about the same, and they are, and now I'm gonna twist it again. Now you can decide how many loops you wanna make. I'm gonna think six to eight on this one is what I'm thinking. So put this guy in the middle, do a little test. That one's a little long. See how they don't match up? I'm gonna bring it down just by pulling it back at the middle again. Do a little test. All right, we gotta do a twist here. Do a little twist and then make us another loop on this side. Now I'm gonna just look and see if I like six. I usually like a little fuller. I'm usually a little more than less, right? So let's put that there and see. Six is pretty, I think eight would really step it up. So let's do another set of loops. So one more, just like we just did. So I'm just going to make that loop the same length where it comes to the middle, I'm gonna twist it. I felt like I shortened that one a little bit in my hand. And then I'm gonna do the same here, another loop and a twist, okay? So now I've got eight loops, which will give me plenty to play with, okay? I'm gonna now make myself a tail, all right? So what I'm gonna do without cutting this apart, I'm gonna pull this down and I can do this with my swag as well. I can turn my swag to the side like so, and I can decide how much ribbon I want to hang down to play with. I don't really want a lot of ribbon. I'm gonna be adding some red berries, so I don't need a lot. I'm thinking somewhere in here. That feels good to me. So then where that spot is, I'm gonna make another loop, okay? So I'm just looping it in my hand and bringing the tail back to the middle. And then where that comes together, I'm just gonna put it underneath. Okay, and that will be my loop. This I can cut away. That's the ribbon that's connected to the roll. But y'all know me, I'm a zip tie girl, right? So we're gonna zip tie this bow. <laughs> I can get a nice tight bow if I use a zip tie. So I'm gonna place this over the top and I'm gonna wrap it around. But we have to do one more thing before we tighten it. So we're gonna wrap it around and get it started. If I can see it, there we go. I'm just gonna get it started. And then I have another zip tie. And what I'm gonna do with that is put it inside here. And this is gonna be what attaches it to my swag. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave that guy in there and tighten this up. Now you'll wanna pay attention that you're in the middle and you'll wanna pull that super tight. The tighter you can pull that, the fluffier your bow will be when we start to play with it. And that's what you want. So you see, I've got my extra zip tie in here. You wanna make sure you don't cut that one. Here's my extra just lay in there waiting. I want to cut this one away. So we'll just snip that. Oh, flew across the room. That was fun. And then I'm going to cut this piece off. This is the piece that goes back to our ribbon roll. There we go. So I got that cut away. All right, we're not done with our bow down here. We need to address our loop. So you know we made this loop, but I want this to be dovetails. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in the center at the bottom. Okay, and then I'm gonna lay it to its side. I wanna bring the wired edge to the wired edge. So let my wired edges line up and that will give me a fold in the middle, all right? And what I wanna do is I wanna cut from the fold to the wired edge. So fold out to the wired edge and you'll have this piece that you don't need. And then when we open this up, you will have dovetailed your ribbon perfectly and they'll match. Isn't that cool? Okay, so. Flip these to the front. Look how gorgeous. I love this bow. All right, let's put it on our swag. All right, so I've taken my bow. Don't worry about fluffing it. We'll do that in a second. And I've taken the zip tie and wrapped it around the center of one of the swags. And now I'll move it to the side so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take that and just zip tie my bow on. Again, this means I can use this bow somewhere else if I decide to, or I can take it off and change my decor next year. All right, I'm going to come in here and snip the excess. Don't need all of that. So we got rid of that. Now look at our bow. It looks pitiful. Poor pitiful bow. Let's fluff it. All right. So we're just going to come in. We're just going to play with these loops. And using that zip tie gives you the tightest, most beautiful bow in the middle. Because not only do we get a tight twist in the middle, but when we zip tie it to the swag, we get it tight down to the swag. And it really helps give you that beautiful lift. All right. I don't play with the tails too awful much right now. I'll place those at the end. But just to kind of get them started, we'll just kind of do this number and make sure our bow looks gorgeous. Another tip I'm gonna tell you, which is a very May-May thing to do. I never fluff my bow final while I'm making the project 
I always fluff it after I put it in place because that's what's going to matter. Laying flat on my table is one thing, but when I hang it up where it's going to go and seeing it from different angles, that's when you want to set your bow into place. So it's beautiful. We'll leave it alone. I said, leave it alone. I turned it. I fluffed it some more. Why? Because I can't leave anything alone. I'm always going to fluff this bow. I will probably walk by it 20 times in the season and fluff it. That's how I am. Okay, let's add something really cool. Okay, guys, now we're going to add these beautiful bales. They are huge and they are gorgeous and they're a little noisy. So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do and then I'm going to do it off screen or maybe just cut the sound out while I do it because they make a lot of noise when I wiggle them around. But what I'm doing is under the bow, because I want my first bale to live kind of close to the bow, I'm reaching down here and pulling out a swag that's way inside under the bow, okay? And then these bales have this loop already attached so that is what I'm gonna put into there. It's making noise, I apologize. So I'm gonna put that piece in and then I'm gonna roll this bale so that I can get that way inside. So that went way down in there. Then I'm just gonna take another piece of evergreen and twist those two together to hold this bale in place. So that's one bale attached, okay? Now my second bale, I think I want it to live. Hear how loud they are? I'm putting my hand in there, see if I can stop that. I think I want it to live kind of to this side. I don't want to put it too far down. I kind of want it to be kind of close to this one. So I think I'm going to reach in and find me a really good evergreen piece, maybe even from the back. That looks like a good piece if I can make it work. And I'm just going to twist this on like I did the first one. Okay, now it's time for some pretties, but I want to tell you something. When you're assembling this and it's laying on your surface, it's really hard to see what the finished project's gonna look like because the bells are so heavy. So what I want you to do is when you get to this point, I want you to hold it up and look at it, okay? And make sure your bells land where you want them to land before you move on to the, to the bead part. Mine are good. They don't look like it here. They're heavy, so they're falling to one side. But when I stand it up, they hang really nicely. You'll see in pictures, we'll show you. All right. I don't want to hot glue. I'm going to try it. You can totally hot glue these into place. You can cut these apart and get a whole bunch out of them, but we have four of them and I don't think I'm going to need to cut these apart. I think I can make this happen without. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start in the middle because I definitely want to fill up this area that I feel is a little lacking. Okay. So to put this guy on without hot glue, I have taken one of the ends and I've loosened it. And this is going to be where I wrap a green piece around. Okay. And I found this green piece way high in the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this piece in up under the bow like so and then i'm going to take that evergreen piece and i'm just going to wrap it around my berry now be careful with this don't be rough this berry is um you know made of styrofoam so you can pull them off if you're not too careful but look how pretty that is just kind of coming out of that bow and remember all of this will go together when it's hanging it's a little loose right now because it's falling open but there's my first one so now let's put one in this area. And you might even be able to see this one easier. So again, I'm gonna lift that bottom. You could lift two. If you wanted to kind of attach it more in the middle, you could do that. Then you just wanna send this up into the swag and then find some greenery to hold it on. I'm gonna take two pieces of greenery here and twist them around each other. It's just like using twist ties to decorate. It's awesome. So there's another piece. These really make it beautiful. All right, I'm gonna put one more down here and then we're gonna put one at the top. And don't forget, you can adjust these after you have it hanging. Now, if you decided you wanted to hot glue these in, it's real easy. All you'll do is take your hot glue, run it here on the stem, place it in where you want it, let that, drew co that um, glue cool and dry, and then it'll be there permanently. But like I said, I want to be able to redo it. All right, I'm going to turn this guy around. He's loud. I'm going to do it off camera. Okay, I think I want this one in two places, one here and one here to kind of balance out the top. So I'm going to separate these. And the first thing I'm going to do is see if I can pull these off together. Look, I can. That's awesome because they're wired and there's paper in there. 
So I've just pulled them apart and I'm gonna take the wire and twist them together. So we're just turning two and a uh, one into two. Okay, so I've made that one <laughs> into two. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna lift my bow. Oh, perfect, there's one right there. I'm gonna tug this down inside, wrap that green ear around to hold it. and then that will come out the top. That'll be so pretty when we get it hanging to that to lift like that. Now we're gonna do it on this side, same thing. Okay, if you know me at all, you know this is how I work. You could cut this away if you wanted, I'm not. I'm gonna fold it down, it won't be seen. It'll be out of the way. So I'm just gonna fold that down like this, and then I'm gonna reach inside again and find another one that I want to attach this to. Here's a good one. All right, I'm gonna send this in, then I'm gonna wrap that around it to hold it in place. So that is the finished swag. Now, it does not look great laying here. I'm gonna hang it and show you what it looks like hanging. Um, and when I get it hung, I will move these ribbons around so that I can get the most use out of them. And you might be thinking, I don't really like the non-hot glue method. And that's fine, you can hot glue it. But remember, once you put this into place, nobody's messing with it. Nobody's gonna be pulling and tugging on it. So you can leave this like this, and then next season, you could take these out and use them in other projects. I love the products at Decorators. They are quality products that last for years. And the last thing I want to do is lock them into place where I cannot use them again. But if you want to use hot glue, it's certainly a thing you can do. So there is the swag. I'm going to put some pictures in and post it here so you can see it hanging. So I want to thank decorators for sending me all of these beautiful pieces to make this swag. Kristen actually designed this and she did a great job. I think it's gorgeous and I cannot wait to show you it hanging and in all its glory. Now I want to say thank you to the folks at decorators because if you have never been there, it is a destination. It is a vacation destination. Let me tell you why. It's 60,000 square feet of Christmas. I could spend four days in decorators and never see all of it. And one day I hope to be able to do that. Just go one day, then go the next day, go the next day. So I want to thank, say thank you to Kristen and her family. It's a family owned mom and pop company. And listen guys, they change the decor out every year. And that's part of the fun. When you go in, you're always looking for those items like the big bear, you know, if you've been there, right? Um, and the fountain, wonder if the mountain, the fountain made it in this year. The cool thing is Kristen has um, agreed to let me interview her and she's going to be sending me some footage of the store, some video footage, so I can do a video to show you that as well. So be on the watch out for that coming. And in the meantime, I will put all of their links, their address, their phone numbers, everything in the description below. And if you can head out there, go out there, walk in the door, your jaw will drop. They're going to turn and look, oh, May May sent you, right? Because I'm telling you, when you walk in the door, just stand there and take it all in for a second. The sights, the smells, Take it in and then enjoy it. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this swag. And now hang out. I'm going to post some pictures here so you can see them.